Good evening, Eliseo. How are you? Do you listen to me? Yes. Oh, good evening. Okay. Eliseo, what's your last name? I'm going to write your last name. Florent Lopez. Flores Lopez, okay. Are you with a different device? Está con un dispositivo diferente. Mm, sí. Ah, okay. Por eso solamente le aparecía el, el nombre, el cell, okay. But now here we are. Okay, thank you for, for joining on time. And tell me, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo hoy el día? It was great because I I was with my with my daughter all day. Oh, and you had your day off today. Yes. Oh, no, no, well, but uh, now I am I am working. Ah, because you are in the night shift. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I mm -hmm. So you enjoy your daughter during the day. Yes. Okay, yes. but uh, in the morning you are pretty tired. Yes, she she is studying in the morning. So you and, see. Yes, and I help I help to to do the homework. Oh yes, also. And what time do you finish your shift during the night, at midnight? Well, uh, on. On Sunday in the morning. No, but I mean, you start working in the evening, yes? And yes. what time do you return to your house? Tomorrow at uh, 6 a.m. Ah, uh, okay. So at finish, at 5, you finish your shift. Yes. Uh, uh, at 6, 12, I work 12 hours. 12, from 6 to 6. Yes. Oh. Oh my God, okay. Mm -hmm. But you sleep I for a while in the morning and then you do the homeworks, yes? yes? Okay, let's get started because it is time and maybe we can have time to discuss some of your homeworks, okay? So okay. here we go, yeah, because the others probably will join later on, but right now let's take advantage of our connectivity, yeah? Okay. And here we go. Okay, very well. So I'm going to start as every single day sharing my PPT with you with the objective, right? And here we go. Okay, Eliseo, today is our session number 11. Yeah. And this is the objective for today. If you are so nice, please, would you help me reading the objective? Uh, objective. In this section, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about place, places in town. Excellent. Pay attention. Okay. Okay, pay attention to there is, there are one, any, and some. Okay, so here you have the translation. And uh, actually you are going to listen to a conversation between two people, right? To neighbors, they are neighbors, and they are going to be asking and answering about places uh, in town. So we're going to start using today. There is, there are, one, any, and some in order to uh, build the sentences affirmative or negative with there is, there are, and in questions if we have time, okay? Then we have over here uh, the translation, but also we have the topic for today. And if you notice the topic is, I'm your new neighbor. Okay, thank you for joining to the ones who recently joined to the class. And this is the topic for today. I'm your new neighbor, okay? So uh, first, we're going to have a kind of feedback in case that any of you missed it yesterday. Okay, here we go. If you remember class, okay, over here, we worked this previously, yeah, with did and, um, okay, in past tense. But now 
yesterday, if you remember, you were um, listening, okay, to a conversation where the past of B was used to, yes? And if you remember, class, the topic yesterday was the past tense of B and questions and short answers, yes? That is what we studied yesterday. And you were asking and answering these questions. For example, mm -hmm. were you home last night? Yes, I was. Even though the question is with where, you answer with mm -hmm. was because you say, yes, I was. Were your friends with you last Friday? Yes, they were. No. They weren't. Why? Because the subject is your friends. Friends is plural. So we say were. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Was your mother at home yesterday afternoon? The subject of the question is your mother. So you answer yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Depending if it is affirmative or negative. Was your sister with you last Monday morning? The subject is your sister. She, singular. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were you at the mountains last year? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your pet with you at the mall? The subject is your pet. Only one, one pet. It can be a cat a rabbit, a dog, a parakeet, yeah, a parrot, a turtle. Was your pet with you at the mall? If we replace your pet and we use a subject pronoun, it should be it. So we say, yes, it was, no, it wasn't. Were you with your relatives last Christmas? The subject is your relatives. So we answer, Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Was your exam easy? Exam is going to be replaced by it because that is the personal pronoun. When we use exam, it is a thing, okay? So we say, yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Was your food delicious at lunchtime? Again, here, the subject is your food. So we replace, we eliminate your food in the answer and we replace it by a subject pronoun. Which is the subject pronoun? Are you, he, she, it, we, you, or they? It. It. Very well. Congrats. So we say, yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were you happy in the morning? Directly to you. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay? You remember? And remember, we use was, where. You say, I was. You were. Yeah? He was. She was. It was. We were. You were. They were. Okay? So when you are asked, were you? You answer with, I was or I wasn't, okay? Because for I is was. Questions or comments about the situation? No? No. Okay, no. you have any doubt? And this is what Eliseo helped me to read, okay? The, the objective for today. So we need to pay attention to there is, there are. There is one, there is any, there are some, okay? And here, the topic, as I was saying, is I'm your new neighbor. So class, you're going to be practicing this conversation. Uh, I'm your new neighbor. But first of all, we're going to pay close attention to the conversation in the platform. So you get in touch with the pronunciation, okay? And here we go. Um, okay, I'm going to take over here. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, please pay close attention, guys. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay. So you have this in the platform. But I'm going to share it with you via WhatsApp, okay? So you can have it and uh, we're going to to listen to it uh, one more time, okay? Before we go over. Hello, Edward. Welcome. Hi. Hi. You are really welcome. I'm going to share with you okay, this. So you can have it at hand. And now via WhatsApp, okay, there you are. Now it's going to be better for you. Let's listen to it one more time, okay? Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? A barber shop. So right now, class, here we go. We're going to practice it, okay? Here, I'm your new neighbor, Jack and Mrs. Mrs. Day, okay? Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in, moved in, okay? Moved in, regular verb, past tense. I just moved in, oh yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yeah, why do you think that the lady is telling the boy that there is a barber shop in the shopping center too? Why? What is the reason? Look at the boy. And Sorry. tell me. Cabello. Because of his hair, he needs a cut, yeah? According to Mrs. Day. Okay, because he's got long hair and she needs, she thinks that he needs a cut urgently. Okay, so now I need two of you to practice this conversation as a model for the class. 
I need one volunteer to read Jack and I need another volunteer to read Mrs. Day. Who wants to read Mrs. Day? Hello, knock knock. Okay, you are Jack. Thank you so much, Eliseo. And I need someone to play the role, the next role, Mrs. Day. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Ms. Jocelyn. Jocelyn Gabriela, okay? Begin, please. Uh, you start, Eliseo. Excuse me, and your name, sorry. Excuse me, and your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Very well done. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. You're going to read uh, this conversation as your classmates did, but you're going to switch roles. You are going to use your names, okay? Because instead of saying Jack, you are going to say your name. Excuse me, I'm, I'm your new neighbor, Eliseo. I'm your new neighbor, Eduardo. I just moved in. Oh yes, and blah, 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 okay? Only the names, you change only the names. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So now we're going to move to the breakout room so you can practice this conversation. Okay, and here we go. Okay. No. Please join your groups. Join your groups and practice speaking, please. Uh, Eduardo, I need you in group number two. Jocelyn, Gabriela, I need you in group number two, if you're so nice. Eduardo, thank you. Voy a compartir la, la imagen porque, para que lo podamos leer. Ahí está. La vez. Yes, we see it. Yes, I, I see it. Okay. Si quieres empezar vos o empiezo yo. Voy a empezar yo. Excuse me. Jeremy, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundro a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, in, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yes. Okay. Now. You begin. Okay. I'm going to practice with um, Palacios. Ah, okay. Okay. Excuse me. 
¿Me escuchas? Yes. Yes. Ok. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jeremías. I just moved in. Oh, yes. Eh, hola, eh, no, Palacio va a, va a practicar también, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí no. yes. Ah, ok, entonces ya le de usted porque yo ya lo hice con el CEO. Ok, chivo. Entonces, uh, excuse me, I'm your new neighbor. Eh, José, um, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a room rat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the Pine Pool Shopping Center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. I see. Jeremias, puedes practicar, puede ser el primero. Cambio. Ok, ¿quién empezaría ahora? José. Eh, me tocaría el segundo. Ah, Acabo okay. de decir primero. No puedo empezar, Jeremías. Ah, ok. Excuse me, I'm your neighbor, Jeremías. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pin Store. Pin oh. Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice pelo largo? A long pelo. hair. Uh, <laughs> he's got oh, a long, long hair. hair, very long hair. Okay, the, long the, the, the three of you practiced, yes? Yes. Okay, yes. time to get back. Thank you very much for your participation. Let's wait a couple of seconds for the other classmates, okay? Thank you, class, for your participation. Now listen, I want you to notice this. Excuse me, we're going to analyze. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? When we say, are there any around here? You are asking, are there any grocery stores around here? Por los alrededores hay alguna? Okay, are there any? Uh, yes, there are some on Pine Street, Pine Street. Si hay algunas en la calle Pine, sobre la calle Pine. Oh, good. And is there, this is a plural question and this is singular. Is there a laundromat near here? A laundromat, una lavandería, yeah? near here. So we have, is sí. there for singular question? Are there for plural? And the answer is in affirmative. Yes, there are some for plural, for singular, I think there's one, or yes, there is one, okay? And you give the place, you say the place across from the shopping center, okay? Across from the shopping center. And also 
notice there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Okay, this is a simple sentence, affirmative. There's, there is, is the full form. There's the short form. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. I am uh, pointing at this because it is the second part of what we're going to analyze right now in the platform. And uh, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's wait. Okay, so here, look at this. We have uh, previously, yeah, here I'm your new neighbor. In here we have there is, there are, there is one, there are any, there are some, and here you have. Pay close attention to the information, okay? And here we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Mm -hmm. So it was about the structure. Yes, that's why I told you that in the previous conversation we had um, focused, okay, on questions, affirmative and negative. And here we are. Is there a, and then you mentioned the name of the place. Is there a coffee shop near here? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't because it is singular. Yes, there is. When it is affirmative, you have the chance to give a longer answer, a more specific answer. There is one next to the gas station. So that is why it is very important to um, pay attention to the prepositions, okay? Do you have questions about this? Do you want me to play it again? Hello? Everything yes, is clear. Yeah. One more time. Okay, yes, here we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. 
Okay, these are the prepositions of place that are helpful. They help us in order to give directions, okay? So let's continue. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between On the corner of if you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. Okay, let's look at the map. Over here, we have, okay, um, Pine Streets. We have uh, Maple Avenue, First Avenue, Main Street, Second Avenue. You know that Main Street is Calle Principal, right? And then you have the places, Shopping Center, Gas Station, Public Library, um, Princess Grocery Store, First National Bank in Plaza Hotel, Frank's Cafe, Jameson Hotel. Uh, we have uh, Mom and Pops Grocery, another one, okay? And you have uh, Tops Shoes, Parker's Drug Store is over here. And then we have a department store. You have a gym, the post office, and electronics. Now, Let's listen to the explanation over here. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay. Very well. And now I'm going to share, guys, bon petit miss. I'm going to share my, <laughs> my, no, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to share my, okay, my PPT with you because I want you to pay attention to this class. Okay, there is, there are, one, any, and some. The prepositions of place are very important. On, you know, next to, but near and close to, are kind of equivalents, synonyms. They are at the same level. You may say near or close to, no problem. The meaning is the same. Across from or opposite are kind of synonyms, okay? In front of, in back of or behind means the same according to the position of the place. Between only two, yes? Between to things, to people, to objects, on the corner of. And then we have the structure for the question. First, the verb to be in singular. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. 
you give exact uh, direction. And then we have, no, there isn't short answer, but there's one next to the library, okay? Because it is near here, uh -uh, no, there isn't, but there is one next to the library, okay? Are there any grocery stores around here? Plural. Are there any? To ask questions, you say any. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. Affirmative for plural. There are some, okay? In affirmative sentences, you use some because it is plural. There are some, hay algunas. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. Pero hay algunas on Third Avenue, en la calle, en la tercera avenida, okay? No, there aren't any around here, okay? No, there aren't any, or more specific, no, there aren't any around here. Questions about this situation? There isn't any, we use any for questions in plural and no negative, okay, plural, okay? No, there isn't any, you may say. No, no hay ninguna, but there's one, you say one for affirmative in singular, okay? Okay. Now it's time to put it into practice and we, you're going to go over this. If I say, um, let's imagine that we are in the neighborhood where you live, okay? And if I say, is there a bank near here? For example, if I say, uh, Eduardo, is there a bank near here? The short answer, no. No, there. There isn't. isn't. No, there isn't. Very well. And if it is affirmative, yes, there is. Uh -huh. Or you may say yes, because I'm asking for a bank. You may say yes, there is one next to the church, next to the hotel, yeah, or behind the hotel. Yeah, I need you to try to use the prepositions of place, okay? If the answer is affirmative, or you may say, no, there isn't any, but there is one next to the school, yes? So is there a bank near here? Is there a restaurant around here? It must be a question mark over here. Is there a pupuseria near here? Are there any supermarkets around here? Are there any schools near here? Are there any universities around here? Are there any hospitals near here? Is there a bakery near here? Is there a gas station around here? Is there an ATM near here? Automatic teller machine, okay? What we call in our country, el cajero automático, yeah? Okay, so you're going to be asking and answering this set of questions and try to use the prepositions that we, I, okay, I want to, uh, okay, over here. Over here, there must be a question mark. Yeah, like this. Excellent. Okay, but I'm going to share also with you the slide with the prepositions of place, okay? So you may use it. You may use each of them. Mm. Here. Sharing with you, class, via WhatsApp, okay? There you are. You have the prepositions in the WhatsApp. Yeah, right here, the questions. Okay. Here we go. There you are. 
So you have the questions and you have also the slides with the prepositions of place. Use your imagination, okay? When it is affirmative or negative and you give extra explanation. First, you give short answer. Primero dan una respuesta corta y luego amplían la respuesta, así como lo vimos en eh, la plataforma, okay? Questions? Comments? No. Preguntas? Okay, Bien. Tratemos de ponerlo en práctica entonces. Okay, so here we go. I am opening the breakout rooms right now. Join your groups, please. Join your groups and begin with the practice. Okay, Jeremias, Jeremy, I need you in group number one if you're so nice. Thank you. Okay. Is there a one near here? Uh, yes, there is. Here's a venue. Hi. Jose, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. Um, I come from the bank. Eliseo, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is one in front of the park. Okay. Is there a restaurant around here? No. Uh, there is in front of my house. Okay. <clears throat> Are there any supermarket around here? Yes, there are some in next to the library. Okay. Are there any school near here? No, there isn't. Are there any universities around here? No, there, there any. No, como es? No, there aren't any. There aren't any. Okay, gracias. Uh, are there any hospital near here? No, there aren't any. Is there bakeries near here? Yes, there is. Is there a gas, gas station around here? No, there is a gas station. No. Is there an ATM near here? No, there isn't, but there is one in my job. Okay, teacher. Yes, very well. Or you may say, is there an ATM near here? No, there isn't, but there is one in the mall. Yes, or there is okay. one on the corner of uh, First Avenue or Main Street. Okay, the idea is to try to use the prepositions of place in order to give directions. Very well done, congratulations. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a couple of seconds and you create your questions while I ask the other group if they finished and then we can continue, okay? For example, if I say, uh, Eduardo, is there, um, 
a pizzeria near your job? Is there a pizzeria near your job? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, <can you step? laughs> okay, no, no, there isn't. Okay, you use your imagination in order to ask <laughs> questions, okay? That is the idea, okay? Okay, uh, uh, is there an Italian restaurant or a French restaurant near your house? Something like that. Create your questions, okay? Okay. Okay. He <laughs> said <it> no. <laughs> Be Plant. In, in Maquilegua is not an uh, ATM. No sé, ahí nunca he ido. Ah. <laughs> no, okay. no, remember. no, there is. No remember. There is. I, ha I have a question for Eliseo. Eliseo, is there an ATM uh, near your house? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Uh, Jose. Jose Palacios, Mr. Palacios, is there um is there um let me see a fast food restaurant near your house? No, the, there is no there isn't. Okay, very well. Jeremy, I have a question for you. Okay. Okay, Jeremy, the question is. Is there a compu shop near your house? Is there a compu shop near your house? Uh, no, there isn't. Okay, excellent. It's Very old, well. Old. It's old. Okay. And class, did you finish asking the questions? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. now let's get back. Thank you so much for practicing there are Okay, now class I have to ask you if you have any question about the structure of there is, is there, there are, are there. Hay preguntas sobre la estructura del tema de este día? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No, okay. So let's continue with uh, our platform. Yes. Here I'm going to update it so we can get back and we can go over the next okay this is what we did and now here um you went over the knowledge check yes because i remember that here you okay the knowledge check here you're going in this lesson you will follow a conversation about the neighborhood okay uh taking into account questions like how many how much with quantifiers. So here we go. Let's see. But before uh, the knowledge check, you did it before, right? Yes. Did you do this? Ya hicieron esto? Hello. Sí. Sí, todo mundo lo hizo ya. Ya lo completaron todos y todas. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's yes, move to the next one. Okay, great, excellent then. Uh, here, okay, this one. It's pretty safe. Bastante seguro. Here we go. It's pretty safe, yeah? Yeah, this one, this is the one. It's pretty safe. So we're going to practice this conversation, okay? But before, okay, let me see if I, I know the sound. I'm going to share the sound with you because when we come back from the breakout rooms, it moves. Okay. Let's listen. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. 
please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call I'll call you back later, and she's saying that it is pretty safe. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to share this with you okay, via WhatsApp so you can have the, the, the picture. Let me see if I can share it. Yes, there you are. And so we can listen to the pronunciation again. She's really concerned, so probably it is not so safe, yeah, in that place. So I'm going to refresh the page and we're going to practice, okay. So, this one, ready, let's open our ears. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Uh-uh, I'll call you back later, she says, okay? Over here, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's pretty convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean, Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later, okay? So is there much crime? Okay. No, it's pretty safe, yes? Muy seguro es bastante seguro. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. So this is the conversation you're going to be practicing right now, okay? In the breakout rooms. Rigoberto... Okay. No tiene link para, para la plataforma de aprendizaje. Ese es el que necesita, Rigoberto. Sí, ese es. El de la plataforma. Vaya. Sí. Quiero ver, permítame. Sí, Permítanme, quiero ver antes de que continuemos en este. Ok. 
por acá creo que lo tengo. Ok, este. Eh, se lo voy a compartir en este momento vía WhatsApp eh, del grupo, ¿ok? Muchas Esta, gracias. Es un grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, sí que no me, no me he involucrado todavía. No me cae. Y entonces, ¿cómo hago para hacerle? No, usted no se ha unido al grupo entonces. Ajá. Bueno, yo lo voy a escribir ahí. ¿Verdad? Bye. Para que se una. Y luego, le, le ¿cómo hago para enviarle el, el... Pero es que en su correo tiene que estar donde están los detalles del grupo. ¿Le enviaron por correo esa información? Sí. Entonces, ahí aparece. Eh, ah, enlace para unirse a, a, a WhatsApp y enlace para la, la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, muy bien, porque, ah, pero ¿sabe qué? Vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, le voy a compartir el link acá. En el chat de este, de este grupo, de esta clase, de Zoom. Ok. Sí, ahí está en este momento y se puede unir, ¿de acuerdo? Ahí puede, okay, puede unirse a la, a la plataforma y también el link para que se una a, a WhatsApp. Sorprendida fui yo. Permítame. Muchas gracias. <ríe> Sorprendida, sí. teacher, dice. Sí, porque, porque, o sea, a estas alturas, pues ya después de las vacaciones terminamos. Ella hace la limpieza. Además, Hola. tú sabes lo que pasó por su vida. A la que llamas mentirosa es una chica de 19 años. Ah, el los volumen, por favor, porque todo queda grabado, chicos. Ok. Eh, ok. Entonces, Rigoberto, acá le estoy compartiendo también el, el enlace para el grupo de WhatsApp en el chat de esta clase, de acá de Zoom. Y now, because of the time, we're going to move to the breakout rooms. Ok, nos vamos a ir a los grupos para que practiquemos la conversación. Ok. Ya lo voy a unir a un equipo. No, lo voy a recrear desde ya. Bien. Equipo de tres. Go to your groups, please. Son las derechas. Una práctica que vamos a hacer nada más, ¿ok? Join your groups. Únanse a los equipos para que puedan hacer la práctica. And then we come back. Thank you. Hello again. Okay, begin the practice. Voy a compartir la imagen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nico, Pam. Y él le va a contestar. Ok. Ok. Dale, Nick. Hola. Hola. De, Hola. De, 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 de. Vale, es Nick. Sí, sí. Ok. Nick, how do you like your new apartment? I, do, I love you. It's is don't downtown so it's very convenient nick downtown is there much noise oh no there isn't any i live on the fifth floor nick how many restaurants are there near your place a lot in fact there is an excellent korean place just around the garden nick what about parking well, there are many parking garage, uh, but I usually fit a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. How long does my car alarm? I call you back later. Okay. Ok, ahora yo empezaría con Rigoberto. Ok. Ok. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. 
Downtown? Is there much nice? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, in fact. There is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, ahora Palacio empezaría. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Good job. Okay, finished? Finished, teacher. Okay, teacher. notice that here you are using uh, there is and there are affirmative and negative, but also the new topic that we're going to be uh, studying tomorrow is uh, nouns, yes? Must now countable and uncountable nouns because is there much, how much, and how many, okay? Much noise, you cannot count noise. So that's why we say, how much noise? Is there much noise? Hay mucho ruido? Porque no podemos contabilizar el ruido, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Entonces eso estaremos estudiando el día de mañana. And do you have any question about the vocabulary? No questions. No. Okay, great. Remember, if you can go over the activities, you have to, okay? Because this is our uh, week number three. After vacations, it's going to be our fourth week, okay? So now let's head back because it's time to say goodbye almost, okay? Thank you, class. Thank you very much. I appreciate your participation. Thank you for coming. Okay, class, listen. Today we practice there is, there are. There isn't, there aren't. Yes, is there, are there. Singular, plural, affirmative, negative, and interrogative way. Tomorrow we're going to continue because this is the antecedent for tomorrow's class, okay? Countable and uncountable nouns, but also using there is and there are class. Thank you so very much for joining. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Try to be on time. So we start at nine, at eight sharp, okay? Bye-bye, have a good night. Blessings. Good night. Thank you for being Thank here. You. Have a good night. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Continue working in the platform. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, did you get the link, Rigoberto, for the WhatsApp group? Yeah, uh, don't, don't see it any, and no, there isn't. Okay, Rigoberto, se pudo unir al grupo de WhatsApp. Necesito que se una al grupo de WhatsApp. En el link de acá de la, de la plataforma de, de, de Zoom. Se lo envié también. Ay, aquí estoy revisando, Fisi, no, no está. ¿Cómo no? Eh, ¿Cómo veamos. Si sí, aquí está, mire, el de, el de, en el chat de acá de Zoom, de la sí. clase. Ahí está el primero, a las 8.59 le compartí el de la plataforma y abajo de ese le compartí el del chat de de WhatsApp. Se lo voy a compartir nuevamente. Sí, fíjese porque se borró. El otro sí lo copié en la parte. En este momento está ahí, mire. Nuevamente. Ah, sí, sí. Cópielo y, y, y péguelo, ¿verdad? Ahí en la, en la, o una se desde ahí, creo yo que se puede. ¿Sí? Ajá. Sí. Porque es importante que se una al grupo de WhatsApp. Vaya, ahorita. Ok. Ahí está. Perfecto, entonces. Ah, sí, ya me aparece que se unió usando el enlace. Ok, Rigoberto, trabaje en la plataforma, por favor, ¿de acuerdo? 
Sí, me pongo al día. Muchas gracias. Al día y mañana traté de no faltar, por favor. Ok, tema nuevo mañana. Okay. Have a good night. Bye bye, Rigoberto. Thank you for joining. Have a good okay. night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.